In this tutorial, I want to talk about a process that a lot of folks are calling single image HDR. But what it really is, is tone mapping a single image. Now, when you're working with a single image, you have to be very careful that you've captured the highlights in the frame. So you really want to expose for the highlights. Um, and then you can use tools like HDR Express 3 to tone map to open up your shadows. If you've lost the highlights, there's really no way to recover them. Many people have asked me if I have a single image, should I go into a, a tool like Photoshop or Lightroom and create multiple exposure brackets and then merge them? And the answer to that is really no, because if you're starting with a raw file, all of the, the information, all of the detail that was in the original scene is contained in that one individual raw file. And then pre-processing that into different uh, bracketed uh, exposures and saving out TIFF files is only going to cause you further uh, problems down the road and cost you a lot more time. So let's look at what we can do with a single image in HDR Express 3. Now a lot of times if you're walking around doing street photography or something, you're in a city, um, you'll come across scenes and there's a lot of motion, a lot of action, you don't have time to set up a tripod, uh, and you can probably only fire off one shot. And many times you'll see scenes like this one that I have here. I took this one in Boston last summer. Now I'm going to turn the preview off here for a moment to show you what we're starting with. So this is the original scene, and you can see that I've captured the, the highlight detail is pretty well rendered from the camera. But everything else is kind of dark, and this is a high contrast scene. It's direct sunlight, it's probably, you know, mid-afternoon time. And these people are all standing around here underneath the tree. So I have patches of bright sunlight and I have dark areas. And in this case, the object of interest, the chihuahua here in the woman's handbag, is really lost in the scene because it's so dark. So the first thing I want to do is click the preview checkbox again. And this will do the automatic tone mapping. When you open an image in HDR Express 3, it's automatically going to apply a basic uh, tone mapping setting to this. And that's what it's done here. So now I can either select from one of my different uh, presets um, and see how they, they look. I can use a different one. Um, but I'm going to go back to the reset preset, and I'm just going to adjust this slightly uh, by hand. So what I want to do is I want to use the gamma adjustment to open up the midtones and the shadows again just a little bit. And again, while doing that, I'm going to preserve most of my highlight detail. Now, if I turn on the highlight warning, I can see that I've lost some highlight detail here in the top of the, the car and some of these other highlights, uh, specular highlights out here in the scene that I'm not that interested in. So I'll keep that. And now I'm also going to add a little bit more uh, detail to bring out some more of the contrast, the local contrast, to really make this scene stand out. So now if I see this guy, I can see, I don't know if he's happy or he's sad, uh, being stuck in the handbag. I guess there's <laughs> worse ways to get around town. Um, but in any case, I've got what I want from this. So if I look at the before and after of this, this is really dark and muddy, the area of interest. And now I've really brought out the, the area of detail that I want. And this is just a simple tone mapping routine done to a single image. Now I have another example that I can show. And here I have a, an example of a bright background and a dark foreground. So let me just open this image. And again, it's going to automatically tone map it for us. And I'll turn the preview checkbox off so you can see what we start with. So here we have the proper exposure and contrast of the building here in the background. But this vehicle here in front is totally uh, dark and there's no detail anything you can see in it. So I'm going to click on the preview button again and that'll open this up a little bit. Now for my taste this has really made this kind of bright and flat so I'm going to darken this. So I'm going to take the gamma slider down a little bit in this case in order to get that to the point where I, I like it. At the same time I'm going to apply a little bit of detail. Like I said most images can benefit from some of this local contrast just to bring out some sharpness. Again, when you open the file, we start with a default setting because you want to use this tool. You want to season the taste, as I say. You don't want to overdo it, um, and you want to be able to always go back to where you were before. 
So I'm going to just give it a little bit here, probably somewhere around a value of 10 or 12. And if I want to open the, the shadows on, on the vehicle a little bit more, I can do that with a, the shadow slider. Now, since this wasn't a multiple uh, exposure bracketed uh, scene, it's just a single image, you can see that as I do this, I'm bringing out some noise. But that's the trade-off in this case. If you have a single image, you're, you're going to exaggerate the noise in the dark areas. If you had done an exposure bracket and had overexposed frames that you could build this from, uh, then you would have taken the, de the shadow detail from the overexposed frame and had done a little bit better job on the shadow, uh, on, on the noise rendition. Uh, but I think in this case, this is a, a good compromise of, of what I want, especially compared to what I started with. So let me just maybe add a little bit more saturation. And if I'm done, I could save this file out. And again, I'll save it to the desktop as a TIFF file. And that's how you'd go about tone mapping a single image inside of HDR Express 3 using the same tools that you use for your HDR multiple exposures. Thanks for watching.